Hello, and welcome to another Ask ZBrush episode with Paul Gabry. In this episode, we were sent in a question about how can you lay out UVs on a subdivided mesh. So I'm going to show you multiple ways to do this within the video. I'm going to start with just the basics of laying out a UV on a particular subtool. In this case, we're looking at the earthquake model that ships with ZBrush. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to solo this out. So we're only looking at him. You can see that he's at sub has subdivision levels. So I'm just going to walk down to the lowest subdivision level because this is where you would want to generate your UVs is on the lowest subdivision. So I'm going to come over to the tool palette. I'm going to go near the bottom and you're going to see a menu right here called UV map. I'm going to click on that and then there's going to be various options here. First, it's important to understand what map size you are going to need and what UV map border do you need on those UVs. So right here you have a slider that can go all the way up to 8192 by 8192 or 8K maps, or you have preset popular sizes here for any UV. And then you have your UV map border below that. So I wanna first take a look at three UVs within this menu. So the first one is gonna be AUV, which is for adaptive UVs. All you have to do is click on that button and there you go, the UVs are done. So let's take a look at the UVs. So I'm gonna first turn down the bump here to zero, because I don't wanna sculpt or paint on my UVs, which you actually can do inside a ZBrush with this mode. So I am now gonna click the Morph UV, and you'll see our model is now expanding, showing the UVs. Now the importance of the AUV tiles is, is taking every single polygon on the Earthquake model, separating it, and you can see making it a perfect square within the UV space. And every single polygon gets its own space. So this particular UV layout is really maximizing all the UV space that it can. It's just us as artists, it's gonna be difficult to see where different parts are of the model. So let's unmorph this and let's try a different one. This time, let's try GUV, which GUV stands for group UVs. So I press that, that is now done. Let's go ahead and morph that. And you can see the difference here is they're trying to group some of the sections of the model in a UV space. However, you can see there's a lot of empty space that's not being used within this UV. So let's unmorph this and try the third one in this menu, which is PUV, which stands for packed UVs. So we're gonna click on that. That is done. And we're gonna morph that and you'll see this particular layout is taking advantage of the previous two and we're using them together. So we've maximized all the UV space that we possibly can for this particular model. And it's grouping sections of the model in areas so that we as artists might be able to recognize parts of our model. So these are three ways to just generally apply UVs. And now that these UVs are applied, you can walk up and down your subdivision levels and your UVs will still be within the model. Now let's take a look at another way to apply UVs. So first thing I'm gonna do is come into the top of our menus and I'm gonna come here to my Z plugin menu. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna grab this little icon on the top left, click and drag that over. And now let's just move down here so that we can see that whole menu that's on the top. And what I wanna use now is the UV master plugin. So there's a list of plugins here. Towards the bottom, there's a UV master one. So this is a plugin that's made specifically for laying out UVs, but has various controls in it. So the first thing you wanna do if you're gonna use this plugin is you wanna work on a clone. So what we're gonna do is click this button, work on clone, and what's happening is ZBrush within the tool palette has made a clone version of our earthquake model but this clone version has no subdivision levels and it's automatically gonna give us the lowest subdivision of our model. And you can see all the poly paint is also gone. So now what we're going to do is tell ZBrush to just unwrap this. So I'd say click on unwrap and along the top, you'll see that there was a time frame that took about 1.27 seconds. And then within the plugin, I can even say flatten the UVs and then now there are my UVs. And then the difference between this one and the previous ones is I can clearly see where my head is, my hands are, my feet are, my legs. 
So it gives me a good representation of what the model is looking like within the UV space. So I'm gonna click here now on flatten and I can even in this mode, click check seams and this will show where the seams have actually been applied on the model. And this plugin will allow you to adjust the seams based upon control painting. So I'm gonna turn off the check seams. I'm gonna enable control painting and I'm gonna turn on protect and then now I can tell ZBrush, hey, the parts that I'm painting right now, I want you to kind of protect. So if you can, don't have any UV seams go through, in essence, the face of this particular character. We can even, by turning on polyframe, you can see there are various polygroups. So I can even turn on polygroup. And now we are using painting to specify areas that we want to protect. And we're going to tell the plug-in to use polygroupings to create islands of UVs. And I can also tell it to attract and say, so I'd prefer if you can to put a seam down the back of the body. And then now we can say unwrap, allow the plug-in to unwrap. And what it's done now when we flatten is it's used the various polygroups as UV islands and try to maintain where to put the seams based not only upon the algorithm, but my painting. And you can see the face now right here does not have any cut going through the front of the face because that's what I've painted. So let's unflatten that and let's get now these UVs back on our model with the subdivision levels. So all I need to do is hit copy UVs, come down here to the tool palette and you can see we're currently selected the clone and I know that because it says CL for clone. Over here is our model that has the subdivision levels, which is already sitting at the lowest subdivision. And now all I have to do is hit paste UV, and there you have it. Now, if I come down here, you can see if we morph, those UVs are now on our subdivision model. And there you have it. That's how you can lay out UVs on a mesh with subdivision levels. Thank you for watching this video. Continue to send in your questions with hashtag AskZBrush through Twitter. Have a great day.